anything that is structured can be done better by a machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, what it, machines are not good at, which is, are things that make us intrinsically human, are things like creativity, critical thinking, okay, where, you know, complex problem solving. Yes. Do you see the nature of higher education institutions by itself, or the whole structure in that sense, needing to change in the next five years, the next 10 years, to the time that maybe I would have taken my college degree and my MBA degree. Yeah, the, the, look, this is well known and well written about that education today in most countries is failing to prepare young people for the world they're entering, okay? If you think about what we teach and how we teach it in schools and colleges, including the very best, it's mostly tr teaching people skills mm -hmm. which machines are better at. Okay, for instance, rote learning of facts. Well, machines can, you know, accumulate facts, find facts much better than you can. Okay, anything that is structured can be done better by a machine. Mm -hmm. Okay, what it, machines are not good at, which is, are things that make us intrinsically human, are things like creativity, critical thinking, okay, where, you know, complex problem solving. Yes the human to human interaction and that is not taught right. in most schools colleges etc so i think we need to you know and it's not over five or ten years it's needed today um, one of the most interesting experiments that i've been a part of for the last three years mm -hmm. is we've been working with the delhi government and there are 1024 government schools and my colleagues and um, you know have been running a, the entrepreneurship program in classes 9 through 12. So these are government schools, kids from the sort of generally the weaker socioeconomic backgrounds, and we teach them entrepreneurship in an experiential manner. Mm -hmm. And it is just magical. So first of all, it shows this is not something you're born with. It's like any skill, you can learn it, you can get better with practice. The capstone project is where they actually get in teams and launch a business, not a business plan, and mm -hmm. run it during the summer holidays. Mm -hmm and 90% of the teams actually make a profit. Right. So that's that says, and then of course, magical things happen to these young people in terms of their self-confidence, in terms of what they choose to do after graduating from school. More and more of them are willing to do something entrepreneurial. So I think this is the kind of revolution we need to see in education and in companies. You don't forget corporate learning. Yes. Okay, companies need employees who are not just going to do what they are told, mm -hmm. but rather who see opportunities and pursue them yes. on behalf of the organization.